Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Sam, and today is January 13th, National Sticker Day. And I'm Analia, reporting from room 218. Welcome to an all new Miscellaneous Mondays. Last Wednesday, the news broke that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle would be separating from the royal family. However, a fortune teller in England was not surprised. She claims that she knew this would happen because she threw asparagus in the air, and it sent her a pattern that she had interpreted as a message saying that Harry and Meghan would branch off. She claims to be the only person in the world with this ability. This practice is known as asparamancing? What? Canadian woman Eve Dubois was competing in a game show when she was asked what Popeye's favorite food was. With the rise of the popularity of the restaurant Popeye's, she answered chicken, the food the chain is known for. However, the show had meant the cartoon character Popeye, whose favorite food is spinach. The mistake that cost her, her and her family, $10,000 prize, but Popeye's the restaurant gave her $10,000 for the free promo. Oh, how lucky she is. Yo. Jake on the mic real quick. You feel me? Jules, Jules, they ain't for school. We catch you in the back and you get attention. Jules, Jules, they ain't for school. We see you with the vape, you're never gonna escape. You think you're cool with your little jewel. Puff puffing all day, trying to wipe it away. You think you're cool with your little jewel. If you get caught, then that's on you for making a stupid mistake. You will get lung cancer and probably die. Who would go solo as to actually try and do that at school? That's so humiliating, and I can't believe that anybody would actually try that. Just don't jewel. Now for school news. Please go to the link below to vote for your favorite teacher to rap live at this pep rally this Friday. The poll closes on Wednesday, so vote now. Each year, high school seniors who wish to teach in the state of Florida may apply for a scholarship sponsored by the Florida Retired Educators Foundation. This scholarship pays $4,000 over a four-year period, $1,000 per, per year. Check out more info on this and other scholarships at the College and Career Center. Attention seniors, if you were unable to take your senior portrait or didn't take them until after the deadline, but would still like your portrait to be placed in the senior section of the yearbook, Please see Miss Norton in room 335 as soon as possible. This will be the final chance to make sure your picture is included in the yearbook. Also, Senior Safari is the senior class field trip to Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida. It is on Wednesday, February 12th. Tickets are available on school pace starting today for $85. You must turn in your signed permission slip to Miss Diener in room 360. Seniors will receive Senior Safari packets with more information in their English classes. Weekly SAT tutoring will start today, after school in the College and Career Center. Come to the, practice your skills and learn how to strategize for the test. PERT testing for dual enrollment will be offered on campus on Wednesday, February 12th. Please see Canvas for specific requirements and the sign-up link. The last day to register is February 6th. Please see your guidance counselor if you have any questions. Join the theater department tonight for Monday movie night. We will be showing Disney's Lemonade Mouth at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Entrance donations are $5, which will go towards helping Troop 850 to states. For more information, DM us on Instagram at Troop850. We hope to see you there. This Wednesday, come to the Winter Park Blaze Pizza to support the Eco Club and the environment. A portion of the proceeds will go to Eco Club for projects like replacing water fountains with new water bottle filling stations, new recycling systems, composting, and the solar energy. The fundraiser begins at 5 and ends at 8 p.m. There will be a baseball informational meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the baseball field. This meeting is for both players and parents. Coach Cash will be there to discuss tryouts and answer any questions. Tryouts will be on January 21st at 4.30 p.m. at the baseball field. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a magical Monday. Now stay tuned for some magic. Magic Mondays, baby. Tell me when to say stop, sir. Stop. Right there, you sure? Yep. All right, so that's going to be your car. Go ahead and take it. Show it to the audience there. Now let me rotate back. Put it on top. Thank you. All right, shuffle it up. Just like that, man. There. All right, this is what I'm going to do for the audience at home. <laughs> Check it out. We're at school. <laughs> One hand. <laughs> 
One hand, I turn away. Take up the top card. Bro. <laughs> Clap. Bro. <laughs> <laughs>